Once upon a time, Vaporwave totally bones Sea Punk, and they had a baby together named Ocean Grunge, who happened to be super retro 90s and also super Nintendo angsty, who was also extremely obsessed with nihilism and statues of Zach Galifianakis with abs. In this video tutorial, I'll teach you how to mix the two aesthetics into one depressingly reverb distorted cocktail. Now if you google Ocean Grunge, the first result should be the Ocean Grunge subreddit which began August 10th, 2014. As we all know, once something has its own subreddit, it all goes downhill from here. Ocean Grunge. Look at all these images of the ocean looking grungy. This is what the aesthetic is all about. You gotta make a track that sounds just like this picture looks. Or this one. Look at this person drowning their sorrows in the grunge. Look at all these jellyfish. Okay, so here's a subreddit. You click on it, and this is where we learn how to make ocean grunge. So normally when I go on Reddit, the first thing I do is go to top, because I click here and you can see the top things of all time. So here is post vaporwave pollution. So make a track that looks like that. And then here's the, the Moo Ocean Grunge Essential. These are the only ocean grunge things that have ever been made. And that's what it looks like. Here is the ocean grunge essential guides. So, ocean grunge is electronic music genre that emerged in 2014 influenced by early vaporwave drone grunge and new, me new metal. What the? It is said to be a reflection of the godliness and hopelessness of contemporary Western society. So yeah, you're basically making music that they can play on the radio. Uh, so it needs to have pictures of this dude. There's pictures of this guy's mustache. You have to wear this. Um, you have to drink ocean water. And that's how you get it. These are the most popular oceans. It's loading. Just gotta wait for it to load. Nice aesthetic! That wasn't very ocean grunge of you. Fuck you, whale. I know it's a dolphin. I know my animals. Now let's look up ocean grunge on Bandcamp. So you click on this, and now this is the first ever result on Ocean Grunge if you look up Bandcamp. And as you can see, it's an acoustic song from someone from Santa Barbara, and there's a fine looking lady who I think is the artist of this album looking inside a crocodile for things. So let's listen to this track. Here's another Ocean Grunge track called Wraps legs around your body as I sit Indian style across from you pushing my dick into yours. Robin Williams was on coke. Rest in peace, Robin Williams. This probably sounds wonderful. So now that we have listened to Ocean Grunge, we n now know how to make an Ocean Grunge track. So for this Ocean Grunge track, all I did was I sampled a Nirvana song called Sappy, which is one of my favorite Nirvana songs. And I slowed it down and I dragged it along and I put a bunch of effects on it. And yeah, and then it, 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 if you want to download this track, go ahead. And I put those stem loops in the thing so you can do things if you have FL Studio.
fun, wacky, I'm relatable outro. Social media, perhaps? Fan shoutouts. Atheist Jesus Satan for designing this plastic aesthetic bottle filled with my blood and semen. Tropicalwolves.tumblr.com for this aesthetical beach party Windows XP. Y.jpg on Insta for this death grip. Brooke WWC on Insta for this Jesus Jab C. And to Alexander M for asking for a shout out, you get one. Also, if you purchased my mixtape for $10 or more, expect something personal and an email coming from me soon. Thank you for watching. Please don't do heroin. No, seriously, don't do it. It fucks you up forever.